Who does the military in each coup represent? Of course, there's always, whatever you do, there's always a danger. But we've, we saw that uh, Muammar Gaddafi came to power through a coup, Thomas Sankara came to power with a coup, and those were both progressive people. We've seen another coup in Gabon. Uh, that doesn't seem so progressive as, as the others. And by the way, it's not, look, this coup is progressive and this is not. There's, there's shades of difference between them. Um, but uh, one thing, if you see the coup leaders in in, in uh, the Sahel, which is uh, Burkina Faso and Niger and uh, and Mali, you see them wearing military greens. You see them going out to talk to the people. The ones in Gabon are wearing these fancy dress uniforms with lots of braid and all kinds of medals. I don't know what the medals are all for. Um, you know, as bad as what the British royal family wear. You know, uh, so. It's obviously not the same kind of coup. The fact that, and what people are saying, is that the Americans wanted this coup against the, the uh, Bongo family. Uh, but it still may be good in that it's weakened the control of the French, but <coughs> it's certainly not uh, the, this new leader, I think it's in Grema, in. Uh, in Gabon is not of the same quality as Ibrahim Traore in 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 in, uh, in 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 Burkina Faso, not at all. So it's like war. I'm an ex-soldier from Omkonto Sizwe. I'm not a pacifist. There are times when I believe in war, but. So it's not that coup is always good or always bad, which is what's told us. So if you have a coup against uh, a so-called democratically elected government, but a democratically elected government which is controlled by outside forces, that can be progressive. So we have to look at each one on its merits. A coup, military activity, war, are things which we may or may not need at particular times if we're part of the progressive movement, if we're part of the movement which wants to free Africa. The times yet yeah, when we want to go to war, when we have, have to have had liberation wars, where we can't be having war all the time. And in Sudan, they've got a contestation between different military factions who are not interested in anything, basically, other than their own personal power. So, uh, all I'm saying is look at these things in terms of class, in terms of what those military regimes are doing. But as Pan-Africanists, we cannot say, oh, this is cool, this is bad. And we have to recognize too that ECOWAS is now fully under the control of the imperialists, except now they've hesitated because even in Nigeria, What's happening in Nigeria? The Nigerians, some Nigerians are saying we were better off. We were better off before. Uh, we were better off under military governments and under civilian governments because although there's corruption always in Nigeria, but there's less corruption under the, the civilian governments. And the guy who's uh, this uh, uh, Tinubu. It's very doubtful how he became president. First of all, there was only 27% of the Nigerians voted. Of those, only 36% vote for Tinubu, although he, he had the biggest vote. And although he won it in court, he was being challenged in court, but, it's, but uh, there's every indication that the whole way he came to power was, was corrupt. And now the people in northern Nigeria have said, the whole Senate has said, we're not going to go to war against Niger. And the people of northern Nigeria are ethnically the same. They're Hausa and Fulani people. I know we've got Fulani gentlemen here, who I know. Uh, uh, they're saying, 
if you're going to go against go to war against Niger you're going to go to war against us as well because the whole people of that region are supporting the coups or at least 80 plus percent of the people are, uh, are supporting these coups so when I say this is a democratic coup yes we can have reactionary coups We've, we can have reactionary coups the coup uh, uh, against Patrice Lumumba was a reactionary coup uh, the coup which overthrew, overthrew Salvador Allende was a reactionary coup and it's very interesting that the French of when uh, Thomas Sankara was overthrown yeah they supported the coup so this thing of all coups being bad uh, and talking about democracy and when they talk about democracy multi-party democracy western style which then they control the economy no we must recognize the lies that they're telling and we must uh, we must see when a coup happens when an election happens is this progressive in this condition this circumstance or is it reactionary thank you